Europe's commercial broadcasters have calmed down when the European Parliament voted to amend problematic language proposed in the IMCO Committee INI report on the geoblocking regulation. The IMCO Committee had been seeking to include copyright-protected works in the scope of geoblocking regulation. The proposals had met with fierce opposition from 600 organizations across film, cinema, TV, and radio. As Gregoire Pollard, Director General of ACT, said, territorial exclusivity and the practice of geoblocking are not a limiting factor but rather an enabler for strong audiovisual production, supply and offers across the European Union. Germany's National Film Archive, Bundesarchive, has recently commissioned and installed a state-of-the-art film digitization facility at its film archive in berlin Hofgarten. At the center of the workflow in the new facility are six film scanners from digital film technology, which work in combination with processes supporting film restoration, color correction, and storage to digitize the Bundesarchive's large historical original inventory. The installation includes three Scanity HDR scanners and three DFT Polar HQ scanners, all equipped with DFT's wet gate technology, making this the largest installation of DFT technology in the world. France has become the most prevalent non-English speaking and production country on SVOD platforms across the world. According to findings from cinema and TV export body Unifrance, around 5,943 French cinema and TV titles were available up to July 2023 on worldwide platforms, representing 4% of the global SVOD worldwide library outside of France. The share of French content among foreign titles available in North America is 4.6%, 4.5% in Western Europe and 3.7% in Asia. Pacific. The study, conducted by Ampere Analysis for Uni France, covers 53 territories, 114 platforms, and takes into account all feature films and TV content, from animation to documentary and live action series. The Media Production and Technology Show, the UK's largest event for the broadcast media, production and technology industry, and SMPTE have announced the launch of a new technology conference for broadcast leaders that will take place on the 15th and the 16th of May 2024. The Media Technology Conference will bring together senior technology leaders and experts in the field of broadcasting and innovation for two days of networking and knowledge sharing. This new conference will be co-produced by SMPTE and Media Business Insight, publishers of market-leading publications and events. The event will take place alongside the MPTS exhibition and content program. Registration for the event will launch at the beginning of January 2024. Ikigami announced the new UHKX600 multi-format portable camera that can be upgraded from HD to UHD via a license key-based option. Among other license key-based options is support for double, triple and quadruple high frame rate capture in HD plus optional 4K UHD format. Plug-in hardware-based options include a SMPT ST2110 compatible media over IP interface board in 12G outputs. The camera incorporates 3 2 inch CMOS global shutter imagers, it delivers sensitivity of f11 at 2000 lux, in 50p mode, and accepts all B4E and GEFP lenses. When combined with Ikigami BSX100 or CCUX100 control units, the camera optionally supports simultaneous output in UHD and HD video formats. Avid has announced the latest enhancements to its Avid Stream IO software subscription platform for broadcast production in jest and playout, including additional channel count, playlist building, closed captioning and new codec support. The channel count has doubled to up to eight channels in a single system alongside the ability to build media playlists ready for playback during production directly from the Avid Stream IO web remote console. Also, Stream IO now supports closed captioning on playout. Increased codec support is also now available, with AVC Long G12 and 25 formats added. The Electronic Entertainment Expo, known as E3, has been shut down permanently. Its organizers said on December 12, E3 had been held annually in Los Angeles since 1995 and was a popular spot for game companies to tease their latest creations before they hit store shelves. The show was facing trouble before the pandemic, with a host of companies either skipping the fair or staging their own events nearby. A virtual-only event was held in 2021, with a plan to come back in 2023. But the event was cancelled after reports that industry giants Microsoft, Sony and Nintendo would not attend. 
Nine legends from both in front of and behind the camera were inducted in Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame during an unforgettable, emotional ceremony at the New York Hilton Midtown Hotel on Tuesday, December 12. This year's class of inductees comprises Val Ackerman, Big East Conference Commissioner and first president of the WNBA, Lance Barrow, former CBS sports producer, Chris Collinsworth, NBC Sunday Night Football analyst, Tom Fletcher, inventor of the Super Slow Emo camera and other innovations, Steve Helmuth, former NBA EVP, Media Operations and Technology, Ernie Johnson Jr., longtime NBA on TNT studio show host, Andrea Joyce, leading sports reporter, Tony Petiti, Big Ten Conference Commissioner, and former TV network executive, and Jeff Zachary, legendary camera operator. Hosted by CBS Sports' James Brown, this year's event once again donated all table sales to the Sports Broadcasting Fund which supports industry members in times of need. Congratulations to all those great persons. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.